हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी एग्जांपल्स बेस्ड ऑन डायरेक्ट फॉर्मूलाज एंड लिनियरिटी प्रॉपर्टी टू ऑप्टेन लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ द गिवन फंक्शन सो लेट अस प्रोसीड विद आवर फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल हियर वी आर आस्ट टू फाइंड लैपलास ऑफ टू टी क्यूब प्लस कॉस फोर टी प्लस ई रेस टू माइनस टू टी गाइज दिस क्वेश्चन कैन ऑल्सो बी आस्क इन दिस वे फाइंड वैल्यू ऑफ द इंटीग्रल फ्रॉम जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी ऑफ ई रेस टू माइनस एस टी इन टू टू टी क्यूब प्लस कॉस फोर टी प्लस ई रेस टू माइनस टू टी इन टू डी टी एंड वी नो दैट दिस इज नथिंग बट इंटीग्रल डेफिनेशन ऑफ लैपलास ऑफ एफ ऑफ टी हियर एफ ऑफ टी इज टू टी क्यूब प्लस कॉस फोर टी प्लस ई रेस टू माइनस टू टी नाउ लेट एस सी इट्स सोल्यूशन सो वी वॉन्ट लैपलास ऑफ दिस फंक्शन सो यूजिंग लीनियरिटी प्रॉपर्टी वी कैन राइट लैपलास ऑफ दिस फंक्शन एज लैपलास ऑफ टू टी क्यूब और टू टाइम्स लैपलास ऑफ टी क्यूब प्लस लैपलास ऑफ कॉस फोर टी प्लस लैपलास ऑफ ई रेस टू माइनस टू टी नाउ लेट एस फाइंड आउट लैपलास ऑफ दीज फंक्शन वन बाय वन फर्स्ट लैपलास ऑफ टी क्यूब फॉर दैट आई विल रिकॉल लैपलास ऑफ टी रेस टू एन्स फॉर्मूला विच इज गैमा एन प्लस वन अपॉन एस रेस टू एन प्लस वन हियर एन इज थ्री सो लैपलास ऑफ टी क्यूब विल बिकम गैमा फोर अपॉन एस रेस टू फोर इन दिस वे सिमिलरली लैपलास ऑफ कॉस फोर टी कैन बी ऑप्टेन यूजिंग द फॉर्मूला ऑफ लैपलास ऑफ कॉस ए टी विच इज एस अपॉन एस स्क्वायर प्लस ए स्क्वायर सो लैपलास ऑफ कॉस फोर टी इज एस अपॉन एस स्क्वायर प्लस फोर स्क्वायर एंड लैपलास ऑफ ई रेस टू माइनस टू टी कैन बी ऑप्टेन यूजिंग द फॉर्मूला ऑफ लैपलास ऑफ ई रेस टू माइनस ए टी विच इज वन अपॉन एस प्लस ए इन आवर केस ए इज टू सो लैपलास ऑफ ई रेस टू माइनस टू टी इज वन अपॉन एस प्लस टू आई होप गाइज यू अंडरस्टूड दिस एग्जाम्पल नाउ लेट इज प्रोसीड फॉर सेकेंड वन हियर वी आर आस्ट टू फाइंड लैपलास ऑफ ई रेस टू टू टी प्लस फोर टी क्यूब माइनस साइन टू टी इन टू कॉस थ्री टी लेट एस प्रोसीड फॉर सोल्यूशन बाय लीनियरिटी प्रॉपर्टी वी कैन राइट दिस एक्सप्रेशन एज लैपलास ऑफ ई रेस टू टू टी प्लस लैपलास ऑफ फोर टी क्यूब और फोर टाइम्स लैपलास ऑफ टी क्यूब माइनस लैपलास ऑफ साइन टू टी इन टू कॉस थ्री टी लैपलास ऑफ ई रेस टू टू टी एंड लैपलास ऑफ टी क्यूब कैन बी डिरेक्टली ऑप्टेन यूजिंग द डायरेक्ट फॉर्मूलाज बट लैपलास ऑफ साइन टू टी इन टू कॉस थ्री टी कैन नॉट बी ऑप्टेन डिरेक्टली बिकॉज वी डू नॉट हैव डिरेक्ट फॉर्मूला फॉर लैपलास ऑफ साइन ए टी इन टू कॉस बी टी फॉर दैट वी नीड टू स्प्लीट दीज फंक्शन लेट एस फर्स्ट फाइंड लैपलास ऑफ ई रेस टू टू टी फॉर दैट वी फर्स्ट रिकॉल फॉर्मूला ऑफ लैपलास ऑफ ई रेस टू ए टी विच इज वन अपॉन एस माइनस ए Here a is two, so Laplace of e raised to two t is one upon s minus two. Similarly, Laplace of t cube can be obtained by recalling Laplace of t raised to n formula, which is gamma n plus one upon s raised to n plus one. In our case, n is three, so Laplace of t cube is gamma four upon s raised to four. So four into Laplace of t cube is four into gamma four upon s raised to four. Now comes the laplas of sin 2t into cos 3t as i said earlier we have to split these two functions for that i recall trigonometric identity which says 2 sin a into cos b is sin a plus b plus sin a minus b in our case a is 2t and b is 3t so sin 2t into cos 3t will be equal to sin a plus b which is sin 5t plus sin a minus b which is sin minus t upon this 2 goes on the other side upon 2 now let us use linearity property once again for that we will take out this 1 by 2 and we will operate l on these individual functions in this way so we will have minus half outside into laplace of sin 5t minus this minus goes outside because sin is odd function so minus laplace of sin t now to obtain laplace of sin 5t and sin t i will recall laplace of sin 80's formula which is a upon s square plus a square 
so laplace of 5t is 5 upon s square plus 5 square and sin t is 1 upon s square plus 1 square because here a is 1 so this is our final solution for this question let us proceed for next one here we are asked to find laplace of under root of 1 plus sin t as you can see we cannot directly apply this laplace term laplace operator on this under root 1 plus sin t so we have to use trigonometric identities to split this function so let us see how to do it so laplace of under root 1 plus sin t we want to obtain and for that we will first split these terms for that i will recall trigonometric identities as follows first identity that i will recall is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 what if i take theta as theta by 2 here on both the places i will get sin square theta by 2 plus cos square theta by 2 is equal to 1 similarly we know identity sin 2 theta is equal to 2 sin theta into cos theta this same identity can be written as sin theta is equal to 2 sin theta by 2 into cos theta by 2 now let us apply these identities into this function so this laplace of under root 1 plus sin t can be written as laplace of under root this one is written as sin square t by 2 plus cos square t by 2 and sin t is written as 2 sin t by 2 into cos t by 2 in this way but together these three terms form square of a plus b where a is sin t by 2 and b is cos t by 2 so this can be written as under root sin t by 2 plus cos t by 2 the whole square now this square root and this square will get cancelled we will left with laplace of sin t by 2 plus cos t by 2 here we can apply linearity property and we can write this as laplace of sin t by 2 plus laplace of cos t by 2 in this way now let us find laplace of sin t by 2 and laplace of cos t by 2 for that recall formulas of laplace of sin a t and cos a t in this case a is half so laplace of sin t by 2 is half upon s square plus half square and laplace of cos t by 2 is s upon s square plus half square like this this is final answer for this question now let me modify this question slightly i am asking you to evaluate integral from 0 to infinity of e raised to minus 3t into under root 1 plus sin t dt do you see if instead of 3 it was just s this integral will become laplace of under root 1 plus sin t so key to this answer is here itself so in the answer of laplace of under root 1 plus sin t we have to replace every s by 3 let us see how to write this solution guys we know that integral of e raised to minus st into f of t dt over the limit 0 to infinity is laplace of f of t we represent it as phi of s similarly integral from 0 to infinity of e raised to minus st into under root 1 plus sin t dt is nothing but laplace of under root 1 plus sin t we represent this by phi of s now if i replace this s by 3 value of this integral new integral will become laplace of under root 1 plus sin t at s is equal to 3 but we have already found laplace of under root 1 plus sin t in my previous example what was that it was this answer now in this answer i am going to replace every s by 3 to get laplace of under root 1 plus sin 3t at s is equal to 3 or value of the integral from 0 to infinity of e raised to minus 3t into under root 1 plus sin t dt so simply replace every s by 3 we get answer as this do you see this s this s and this s got replaced by 3 so this is the answer to this integral now let us proceed for next one <clears throat> Here we are asked to find Laplace of cos h raised to 5t. Let us see how to do that. Because 
we do not have direct formula for Laplace of cos h raised to n t function. So let us see how to do it. Guys, what I am going to do, I am going to write this cos h t as e raised to t plus e raised to minus t upon 2. This is exponential representation of cos h t. So this function can be written as e raised to t plus e raised to minus t upon 2 whole raised to 5. Since 1 upon 2 raised to 5 is scalar, you can take it out. So you will have 1 by 2 raised to 5 into Laplace of e raised to t plus e raised to minus t whole raised to 5. Now to expand this e raised to t plus e raised to minus t whole raised to 5, I am going to take help of this binomial expansion of a plus b whole raised to 5. I hope you remember how to obtain this expansion using Pascal triangle. Now here I will consider a as e raised to t and b as e raised to minus t. So its expansion will look like this. It will be a raised to 5 so it is e raised to 5t. 5a raised to 4 becomes 5e raised to 4t into b that is e raised to minus t as it is and so on. You can pause the video and check this entire expansion. Now let us simplify these terms e raised to 4t into e raised to minus t is e raised to 3t. Similarly, product of these two will be e raised to t. This will be e raised to minus t. This will be e raised to minus 3t. And these last two terms will remain as it is. Now using linearity property, we can apply Laplace on every term in this way. So this becomes Laplace of e raised to 5t. This becomes 5 times Laplace of e raised to 3t. This will become 10 times Laplace of e raised to t. This will be 10 times Laplace of e raised to minus, 5, uh, minus t plus 5 into Laplace of e raised to minus 3t and plus Laplace of e raised to minus 5t as it is. Now let us write Laplace of each of these terms. Since all of these are exponential functions, we need to recall only Laplace of e raised to at, which is 1 upon s minus a and Laplace of e raised to minus at is 1 upon s plus a. So let us write Laplace of e raised to 5t, it is 1 upon s minus 5, e raised to 3t's Laplace is 1 upon s minus 3, e raised to t's Laplace is 1 upon s minus 1, e raised to minus t's Laplace is 1 upon s plus 1, e raised to minus 3t's Laplace is 1 upon s plus 3 and Laplace of e raised to minus 5t is 1 upon s plus 5. This is your final answer for Laplace of cos h raised to 5t. I hope guys you understood this. Now it is your turn to solve some examples. So below are some practice examples. Do it yourself examples. Their final solutions are also given below. Guys, try to solve these examples on yourself. If you have any difficulty, please write me in comment box. Please also write in comment box whether you are able to solve these examples or not. If you like this video, please click on the like button and also share this video among your friends. Thank you all of you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos.